Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you something that happened recently for me in chess, okay? Now, normally I crop um, the recording window so it only concentrates on the chessboard. But so that I can prove to you that I'm not actually cheating or lying about this, you can actually see for yourself um, what happened. Now, I might, in the last three games that I played, there was a Botez Gambit, more than that in a moment, for those who don't know what the hell that is, right? Um, by each of my opponents in each consecutive game. So there was a Botez Gambit in all three games, done once in each game, all three times but done by completely random opponents on chess.com. I did not pick these players, they were picked at random. It's very unlikely that this could happen, but it did. Right? And it proved just because something is unlikely to happen doesn't mean it can't. Although in fairness, I am playing against lower ranking players, okay? Now, the question is, what the hell am I talking about for both as Gambit? Well, in the, in the current um, social media world, there are these chess streamers known as the Botez Sisters. Um, they use the um, usernames Botez Live and things like that. And they've dubbed the name um, Botez Gambit to mean blundering your queen by mistake. This has been used by many members of the chess community at very senior levels, including the, um, I believe, former world champion, I'm not sure, I know he was at one point, I think then he lost because what wasn't going to be because he didn't want to, um, you know, take part in a certain tournament or something like that, I can't remember why, so he didn't, but, so even at the top level they've heard of these people, okay, and anyway, but anyway, if you ignore that and you haven't got a clue to talk about, basically, um, I played three consecutive games, and my opponent blundered their queen in each of the games. Now, these were genuine blunders. They were not like where um, they had no choice, where the alternative was to give up a queen or they would lose the game. Or by giving up their queen, they got checkmate. It isn't like that. There's just basic blunders. So, right, let's look at them in order, right? Now, the first one was between myself, that's MC Hawkoop, and Aliska Dog 007. So, maybe they're a James Bond fan. So, let's look at the game. My usual weird start of moving. Um, Have you noticed what's going to happen yet? They then stupidly move the knight out. Next thing I do is I just took their queen off. They then resigned. There's no more moves. You can see that it says 1-0, they resigned. That was the first Botez Gambit or um, Queen Blunder. Now let's look at the next game. Mr. Job95, and just to prove it to you, Mr. Job95. And so let's look at these. This time I was trying to do something a bit more King's Indian. Yes. As I say, I mean, this is just playing properly now, so this point.
I'm not quite sure why um, I couldn't have taken off my bishop, so that seemed like a blunder by me, but never mind. Or maybe there was some another tactic, I can't remember why. So far, just lots of pieces have been taken. Just trying to check me, I'm just trying to move out of the way here. There, you see it. That's where they blundered their queen. So they were actually doing really, really well so far. They had... They were up by... A knight, but I had a possible pass pawn where I could possibly have got another queen. But, even if they hadn't lost their queen. But, as I said, they took one of my pawns. I took their queen. I also at this point had a passed pawn here. So, for example, I could have tried to have moved the pawn up and the king could not have stopped it um, just by even keeping my um, queen there. Um, the knight can't move at the moment. Um, so even if the kid would move, then I think I would probably have somehow managed to engineer it, so I would have got a second queen. But anyway, um, basically they resigned. So the next one, Shelleyapa two two eight, and. Again, starting at the beginning. Again, I like to try to um, be different. And here, they've moved their queen out for some really strange reason. And guess what? Yes, I could just take it straight off with my rook. Uh, after that, they resigned. Here, naught zero one. So, there you go, guys. Three games where my opponent, in each case, blundered their queen. In a really silly way. Often near the very end, the, with the first and the last of the three, it was at the very almost the, almost the very beginning of the game. So there you go, guys. Three consecutive Bote's gambits from three separate games featuring different opponents on the same online chess platform which is chess.com thanks for watching guys bye